All right. Uh, welcome to today's lecture. So today we are talk about uh, a Python container, container uh, which is list. So list is a, a very uh, power, powerful and also we use that a lot in Python. We will also introduce another um, data container which is uh, very similar to list, but they are slightly different. Um, so before we start, I want to point out uh, the resources that you can use after this class. Uh, so the first one is the official Python document. So uh, and this is the one that provides the most accurate information about Python. Um, so you can check this website and if there is something that different from other resources, even textbooks, so I would trust uh, this website. So this is the interface uh, of the website and you can see right now uh, the stable version is Python. The latest stable version is Python 3.9. And I think in our class we are using 3.6. Uh, I think there are just uh, a tiny differences between those multiple mu different versions and that will not uh, impact our class. Um, and also you can see Python 2.7 is also um, there. So that is also another very popular um, Python version. OK, uh, the second uh, website is called Stack Overflow. So this is also a very great resource. And actually, when, when you search something in Google, so uh, it is highly likely that Google will direct your question uh, to Stackflow, and you can find out the answers from Stackflow. OK, uh, so this is the interface of the Stackflow. And for example, if we check a uh, Python list, OK, uh, that is interesting. Uh, you can see they have a lot of questions that have been, uh, already been asked. And for example, that let's say this one. Uh, so normally, they will provide one, one person will ask a very specific question and you will see there are multiple answers. OK, uh, so the, the numbers of those answers here mean that how many people feel like this answer is useful. And uh, this check mark means that so uh, the person who posted this answer, those, this question uh, adopted this answer. So the so that means that the question owner accepted this one as the best answer. So normally I will just check the, this one that being accepted by the uh, by the person who sent out the question. OK, uh, and also a reminder, remember that so you don't need to learn everything about Python. OK, uh, so uh, I have been teaching uh, been teaching Python for many years and every time when I look at the textbooks I will learn something new so you first you cannot know anything about Python and secondly it is not necessary to learn everything about Python so as beginners you may feel like okay so I, I know nothing about Python uh, so I cannot do anything so it is not true so you just need to learn the basics and next, just start to create. So for example, after today's class, when we have learned the, the basic data types and also the list, you will be able to do something that is very interesting. So the, the best way to learn programming is by creating something that uh, you are really interested. OK, so that is the, way that the best way to, do, to learn uh, programming. So don't wait until you kind of know everything to start. To start now and also to start to create something that you like. All right, uh, so let's review what we have learned so far. So we mentioned the basic data types. We talked about string, which was declared by the, a pair of the quotation marks. Uh, we talked about integers and also float. So integers are the whole numbers, one, two, three. And the float are the numbers with decimal. OK, and so the uh, and they don't have the quotation mark. OK, so if you put quotation mark around those numbers, those will become will be considered strings. 
We also mentioned that the variable is another data container, so that is a label of your values. And remember the rules that you, you uh, uh, for naming the variables. So you can start with underscores, can start with letters, but you cannot start with numbers. And within your variable names, you can have numbers, underscores, um, and also letters. So those are the variables. So variables are simply a label of your values, and they always track the latest, the current values. The second one is a list. OK, uh, so list is a type of the data container that can contain multiple items. And it has an order in it. So the order matters in the list. And the third most common one is called dictionary. So dictionary is uh, also another data container that can contain multiple values. But the difference is that the, the structure is key value, key value pairs. So we will talk about dictionary in the next week. OK, so let's look at the list. So list is a sequence of the values with a particular order. So remember that list in a list, the order matters. And we can create a list by declaring this uh, a pair of the square bracket. Or we can de declare a list by using this list function. So either way, you can create a list. Uh, list can store strings, numbers, and the variables, and also another list. So that means that you can have a nested list, so that the items within the list can also be another list. Uh, list are mutable, so that means when you define a list, uh, you can always reassign the items within the list. Okay, so list are mutable, so you can reassign items within the list. Okay, uh, so let's do something that um, uh, to try how the list work. So first, let's start the environment and let's go to our local repository. So that is I241. And as I said, the best practice is first make sure that our local repository has the same um, version as the GitHub repository. So we use Git pool. And you can see it's right already up to date. And next, <coughs> let's create a new Python file. So let's say um, new file and let's call it lecture3.py. OK, uh, so let's add original quotation mark. So this is our uh, lecture about list and also set. OK. So let's try to create a list. So let's say my list equals. So this is a variable. And we will use this variable to refer to a list. And as we said, to define a list, we use square bracket. And you can see when you type the left square bracket, um, the editor automatically complete the right square bracket, which is very nice. And within the list, we can define items. So the first item is number one. And all the items are separate by comma. So comma, second item, comma, three, four, and also five. OK, so now we just define our first list, which has uh, five items. So although all those items are integers. And let's print my list. OK, and also because we already defined this variable, so you can see my list is here. So we can just click that and we can run it. And you can see in output, so we have this list. So one, two, three, four, five. So that is the list that we just defined. And the items within the list can be numbers, can be strings, can be variables, can also be another list. So let's say we want to define another nested list, my nested list, which equals square bracket, let's say one, two, three. And the fourth item, let's bring my list within this list. 
OK, so here you can see we define a new list. We call we use my nasty list variable to refer to this new list. And in this new list, we have uh, three numbers and also our false item is a variable which refers to another list. So right now, this nasty this list is a nested list. So let's print uh, my nested list and let's see how it look like. OK, so now you can see it here. Uh, in this my nested list, the last item is a, a list. OK, so that way that we can uh, define a list. We also mentioned that lists are mutable so that we can reassign items in the list. So, so for example, that my list. OK, so to access each individual item, so you can use the index. So we will talk about index later. So um, this one means that we're talking about the first item, which is number one. We want to change that one to number six. OK. And now let's say we print my list. OK, so this is calling the first item in this list. And now we want to change this item to number six. And now let's run it. So now you can see in the last output, we can see the first item now has been changed to number six. So that is what I'm, I meant that the lists are mutable. 